It's Jeremiah. And Spencer. Welcome back to Tune It Up For What. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and show you how to hook up a direct connect for a rocket. It also falls in line with the Evos. The well, easiest way to do it is on its side, of course. It just makes life easier for you. And of course, you'll be facing the bottom, not the top. Um, what you're going to do is there's actually this little valve down here. Rotates. Some of them come with the silver nut, some come with the brass. It's all kind of differs to whatever rocket has in stock that day. Oh, there you go. Now what rocket comes with is the braided hose, which is a 1 8 inch British standard pipe thread. Also comes with the fitting that's on there. It goes 1 8 to 3 8 British. Sometimes they come with the uh, conversion, sometimes they don't. We actually build a kit online, makes life easier. That's what we're going to use to install this. Mm -hmm. Spencer hand builds every one of them. So this little brass piece on the end, just remove this guy. So what you have, it's about a five foot hose. What you're gonna do, one end threads on. You wanna thread that on? Absolutely. Make him actually do Sorry, some work. He was gonna need my hat. <laughs> um, but as for the kit, while he's threading that on, we could provide, it's about two to three feet of, it's called John Guest tubing. Another piece that's called a max adapter, um, which connects to your shutoff valve for your sink. And then your sink water, cold water line can hook on the top. Or if you have your dedicated line, we provide a cap. So you can cap it off and go dedicated. That way you can wash dishes. And, and make coffee at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have it hooked up to your sink, just be careful not to run the sink while pulling a shot because it will starve the machine of water. The way these connect, Compression, and then you'll like in. glove. Um, then there's this piece, which is a one eighth inch British standard. So we bought these specially to thread in to the other end, and then you just kind of tighten those down. You'll want to use Teflon tape and uh, make sure everything's Teflon taped and tightened down. So. Hand tight. It is a little firm to thread in. Don't be afraid to tighten it all the way down. So that's then connected and solid. This will actually go up to your house, your water line, if you want to hold that. Mm -hmm. And then this can be cut with a pair of scissors to whatever length you need. You don't need all of this most of the time because you have the five foot hose. Um, this one then just slides in and you can clip it in there and you should just feel it, it double clicks. Mm -hmm. So that's hooking up the water supply. Now, if you want to hook up, say the drain, you want to be cool and have it all fully plumbed in. So you don't Never even have, have to empty the drip yeah. tray. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Comes with this guy. Now it's very hard to get on. I'd recommend there's two bolts that hold the actual drip tray in. I pre-loosened them because it make it easier for you guys. So we're not spending 20 minutes and another cool, that. Yeah, another cool thing about that is depending on where your drain line is going, you can switch that and configure it around yeah. either direction. So it can rotate anyway. So the easiest is to pull that out. Then you just take this guy and it's gonna be a really tight fit almost impossible to get on and I'll use the other end. And then don't be afraid. It doesn't have to go all the way on. It just needs to get on there because it's, it's on there solid. So it won't leak. And then what you do, Thread feed it through. Thing. And that guy clips back on. Now there is a couple of differences between the R8 and all the other Evo models. The only ones you can plumb in are the Evos because they have to have the rotary pump on them um, to get it all taken care of. Because if you try to hook up a vibratory pump, they don't like the line pressure that rotaries do. So that's the drain. That's then hooked on and tightened with Teflon. And then you can actually stand it up 
and then turn it on with the PID plugged in. For the R58. For the R58. This is the old style PID, new style, same functions, same, same three buttons. Yeah, so what you'll do is you'll actually just press and hold the program down and over on the older model. And then you'll cycle through to where it says water source and you'll do reservoir or connected. You plumbed in, you wanna have it connected because that's, that's when you're gonna actually get the line pressure. And then you can just go ahead and turn it on. Now you might also run into a little bit of a trouble with pump pressure. Mm -hmm. um, that's adjusted by the nut on the bottom here, um, which is how to adjust your pump pressure on your rocket uh, Evos. But other than that, that's basically hooking up the R58. The Evos and that, they actually have a switch behind the water tank that you can actually toggle between reservoir tank as a picture. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, there, that's, that's pretty easy to do. Um, I get a lot of phone calls about it, of how to hook these guys up, because they're confused on hooking up this brass piece. And I just tell them to buy our little kit. It just makes life so much easier. Um, you know, so that's plumbing in a rocket. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, guys. And uh, see you guys next week. Comments, concerns, you can just list them all down below us and uh, give us any feedback. Thank you. Thanks, guys.